In this video we will explain how to place ground control points for drone mapping and create centimeter level accurate 3D maps using drone imagery, without needing an RTK enabled drone. Drones without RTK cannot accurately record their position. But what if we add visible physical markers on the ground, whose exact coordinates we measure with centimeter precision? That's where ground markers can help you to build precise map with simple drone. The idea is simple. First, we place ground control points across your survey area. Think of GCPs as special markers on the ground that are clearly visible in the drone's photos. And measure the exact coordinates of each marker using a high-precision RTK kit. Then, we fly the drone and capture a series of images over the survey area. Later, when we process the images, the software uses these known points to correct the positions taken by drone. In short, GCPs turn drone images into precise, trustworthy maps, even when the drone itself isn't very accurate. So the final 3D model is accurately positioned. In short, GCPs turn drone images into precise, trustworthy maps, even when the drone itself isn't very accurate. Let's make sure that you have hardware and software required. You will need a drone. No need of drone with RTK module, just make sure it has a good quality camera. An RTK calibrated surveyor kit for centimeter accurate measurements. Ground control points. Access an NTRIP correction service for real-time correction data. These services used to be paid, but today they are slowly becoming free in many countries. A smartphone with free SW Maps app and DroneLink app installed. DroneLink provides a free mobile app for manual flight, but automated flight control requires a paid plan. In this tutorial, we'll use the paid version. A PC with WebODM installed for post-processing and map creation. WebODM offers both free and paid options. We'll use the paid cloud version for more user-friendly experience. First, let's talk about ground control points or GCPs. Ground control points are physical markers placed on the ground. They help to geo-reference the aerial images captured by a drone. To ensure your final 3D model is accurate, follow these rules. GCPs should be spread across the entire area. Place GCPs near each corner but still inside the area and at least one in the center. Using more is strongly recommended for better results. For survey grade accuracy, place GCPs 50 to 100 meters apart. The more GCPs you use, the higher the accuracy. Make sure each GCP is clearly visible from the air, don't place them under trees or obstacles. On uneven terrain, place GCPs at both the highest and lowest points in your area of interest. It's time to measure their exact coordinates. To measure its location with centimeter accuracy, use the RTK calibrated surveyor kit and connect it to your Android or iOS phone via USB cable. This will also power the kit. To get started, open SW Maps. A. Create a new project. A. Click on the antenna icon to set up connection. A. At connection mode select USB serial or Bluetooth, the kit supports both. In this tutorial, we'll use USB connection. Tap USB Serial GPS. A under Devices, select FT232 or USB UART. A set baud rate to 115,200 to match the RTK receiver. A press Connect. You will see a message on the screen confirming the connection. A enter the instrument height based on your pole's height. This ensures accurate elevation. The green antenna icon now confirms the connection with the kit. Now let's connect to an NTRIP service to enable centimeter level accuracy of the kit. A click on cloud icon. A enter your NTRIP caster details, domain, port, mount point, username and password. If you're using a virtual reference station VRS, enable send NMEA GGA to NTRIP caster. Press save. Air tap connect. 
The green cloud icon confirms a successful connection to the NTR IP service. The green dot on the map indicates that RTK fix is achieved and you now have centimeter level accuracy. Now place the kit surveying pole in the center of the first control point. To record precise coordinates of GCPs, create a new layer with your own symbol and color for GCP. Each point will represent GCP. At remarks, type the name of the point, we call it GCP1. Check averaging checkbox. Press plus to record the position of first control point. When taking measurements, remember to check the pole's positions by keeping the bubble of the pole in the middle of the circle. Record the precise location of all the GCPs you have placed. In our tutorial, we recorded six GCPs. With the GCPs measured, it's time for drone flight mission with DroneLink app is in smartphone app for automatic flights. Among all functions available, select Mapping Mission. The mission plan is defined on the fly, meaning that mapping flight parameters are set just before takeoff. To define boundary points, take off your drone and move the drone on top of first GCP. Tap record to save the coordinates of first GCP. Navigate your drone to the next GCP and save coordinates. Repeat this for all GCPs which you have and press next. Pick photos as a media type file and press next. Do not customize advanced settings if you are not an advanced user. Set the speed of the flight. Set front overlap. Set side overlap. Choose grid as a pattern. In the mapping direction settings, you can choose your preferred direction, but in our case, we use the default option. Press next. Set gimbal pitch of the drone camera in degrees. Fill the name of the mission plan and press next. The summary of the mission will be shown. Press continue. The mission will be calculated. Press play to launch it. Drone will navigate to the starting point and then will launch the mission. The drone will fly automatically, no manual control is needed during the flight. You can monitor the mission's progress through the app's flight dashboard. Once the mission is completed, you will see notification in the app. Now you have collected all the field measurements needed to create a 3D model. Now when you are in front of your PC and have collected all the necessary data, it's time to build 3D model. First, export the GCP locations from SW Maps. Open SW Maps and press the project icon. Scroll down and select Export Project. Choose the spreadsheet format. Ensure all options, points, attributes, etc. are selected. Select the XLS file format and tap Export. Now download the pictures which your drone took to your PC. You can do this by connecting the drone directly to your computer or by removing the SD card from the drone and inserting it into your PC. From all pictures taken, find the ones which have GCP visible and save them on the separate folder. Now we'll use WebODM to create a 3D model of the terrain. WebODM is an open-source photogrammetry tool with optional paid features like cloud service, technical support, etc. If you're a technical user and don't mind some hands-on setup, you can install it for free from GitHub. In our tutorial, we use paid cloud version of WebODM. Click Add a Project, give it a name, add a description if needed, and press Create. Using the file you exported from SW Maps, prepare a CSV containing the coordinates of the ground control points and save it in CSV format. Select this CSV file, which will be used to georeference the images. Press Open. This is the preview of the ground control point file containing its precise coordinates. Press Load. 
you can choose satellite view to see them on the map. Now press Choose Images, go to the folder with GCP images, select them all to import to WebODM and press Open. Now we will match each GCP coordinate with a drone image showing the corresponding target. One GCP can be linked to several images containing the same point. Click on the first image, click the plus button. Click on the center of the control point in the image. Then, match it with the corresponding coordinate. Repeat these steps for all remaining GCPs to link each image with its correct coordinate. Once finished, press Export File and press Save. This file helps align the map accurately for further post-processing in WebODM. Now let's import all the terrain photos. Go to the dashboard and click Select GPS Images and Files. Choose all the drone images along with the GCP underscore file .txt, then click Open. Wait a few seconds for the data to be plotted on the map. Choose High Resolution in Options and press Validate and start processing. The processing might take several minutes. By pressing Display of Traces you can check the progress. We speed up the video a bit because it took 22 minutes in our case. Once done, click Show Map to view your 3D model overlaid on Google Maps. You can adjust opacity of the map. Display the locations of the photos taken. To view 3D model of the terrain, press the 3D button and wait a couple of seconds for model to load. Now you're ready to work with your 3D model and measure distances between ground points. And measure elevation differences. or even calculate the area of your region of interest. If you'd like to try the same workflow, you'll need an RTK kit and ground control points. At ArduSimple, we offer ready-to-use, low-cost GNSS kits that let you collect GCPs with centimeter precision on a low budget. You can find step-by-step -step guides and tools on our website to help you get started, even if you're new to surveying. For your information, we deliver worldwide within two to four business days.